Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys have had a wonderful evening. And as you guys already know, this is Cody. Oh, this guy. This guy. <laughs> and uh, we are back again with a special bottle from his mother to us to yep. try. Straight from Mama Huss. She, I guess she, uh, I think she's seen this scrolling through Facebook and uh, she said, well, it'd be a great, great uh, whiskey to do a video for St. Patrick's Day. I know it's not St. Patrick's Day yet, but... It will be next week, and I'll be out of town, so we figured we'd do the video tonight, and uh, this is, what is it called? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know the name the of it. The Irishman. It's called The Irishman. Um, I'm not entirely sure of the price, but we will, I think he knows close to what the price is. It is definitely a triple digit whiskey. Um, we will tell you the price after we try it. Definitely top, uh, yeah, definitely top shelf. All right, so just to start the box off, I'm going to move my glass out of the way here, uh, and try not to glare the... <laughs> By the uh, ring light, but it, hold it out. There you go. You it's it's, see it's it. really heavy. Too. It's kind of <laughs> heavy. Um, so this is the case. That wide, that wide, and obviously that tall. I have a very tall torso. I'm sitting in a computer chair, so you can imagine. Oh yeah, and it's a very fancy box. I mean, it's yeah. real wood. It's got the the uh, velvet on the back. You yeah. set it down. Yeah. It's it's got a nice little latch. I mean, it's uh, yeah. And then on this side, you have the latch. So. Without further ado, we're going to kick this bad boy over. All right. Man, that's what you got here. Uh, we're going to pull this out so I can read it to you guys. It's in cursive, so it gives me a minute. <laughs> it says the Irishman uh, rare cask strength. The Irishman cask strength is Ireland's most exclusive whiskey. Distilled three times and carefully aged in individually chosen oak casks. The Irish ca Irishman cask strength is a valuable in strictly limited quantities, as only a few casks of the finest distillates are selected each year. It is reserved for the appreciation of the most discovering judges of fine whiskeys. Only 2,595 bottles were produced in 2015, mm -hmm. and each, each is individually numbered as a guarantee of outstanding quality. Bottle of cash strength, 54% alcohol, so that makes it roughly probably 108 proof. Yeah, that's good. it's going to be pretty stout. I uh -huh. didn't realize it was such a high proof. It, it's going to be fairly stout. And is that yeah. actually handwritten? Yeah. It's handwritten. Or this is typed on there. Uh, it actually has a permanent signed uh, signature at the bottom. Also, the date that the bottle was made. That's kind of hard to see with the yeah. ring light. The ring light's going to screw me over there, but it says August 18th, 2015. This makes this bottle almost five years old, which is crazy. We're going to set this over here so it doesn't get damaged or anything. Next is the bottle. Let me see if I... I'm still okay. getting past the box. Okay, so inside the box, <clears throat> if you look, the paper sat in between two banded stripes here. The inside of this box is a felt-like fabric with a cushion on this on the inside here. And then around here is a the wooden box with also a felt liner. Yeah, it's very well made. Uh, to get the box open, you pull this here. It slides out like a keyhole. You just hit that to the side. And then you pull the bottle out. Straight out. Like that. And then we'll close the casket up. Yeah, let's set the... We're going to set the bottle up. So, yeah, I'm just moving the bottle out of the way. Move that and that. You should have enough room. There we go. We're going to have that interfaces. Yeah, that way we can have more room. And you can still see the box. It's right there. Um, here is the bottle. Le bottle. Uh, it says on the front, the Irishman. Uh, land crafted whiskey. Uh, limited release. So... As the ones I've done the last few days, this bottle probably will never be bought again because it is a limited release. You will probably never be able to buy another 2015 bottle of this. Yes, and this one says on the bottle it's a pretty late in how many they made. What does it say? This 2370 is, yeah. of 2595. So, yeah, it's. Uh, this is one of the last. I doubt you're going to be able to get your hands on another one unless they make another. In another few years, make another batch. Yeah, this is within the last 200 bottles of 2015. It says, Product of Ireland distilled and matured and bottled under Bond, the Irishman, in Ireland. It says, A small batch Irish whiskey, a vatting of specially selected ex-bourbon casks. Year of this bottle was 2015. 
bottle number is 2370 out of 2595. Strength is 40 or 54 percent alcohol by volume. Wow, yeah, uh, this is going to be stout. Cash strengths it says transfixus said non mortis never beaten. Again, that's the front of the bottle there. You guys can see it. I like the lavendery purple uh, top and the bottom here. I like that it's an Irish whiskey that I feel actually came from Ireland and instead yeah. of, you know, you got your normal Irish whiskey like Jameson. I feel like, you know, it's if it's not made in the States, it's probably bottled in the States. But this one, I feel like it... If you it look closely, I haven't done my research completely on it, but I feel like it definitely came from Ireland. They took their... It says triple distilled right there above that little red label. And it made it look like a crown, which is pretty cool. I like that. Made it look like almost like a crown out of the triple still. Um, okay, on the back it says cash strength. It's a little different than what it says in the label. A rare cash strength expression matured and aged and personally selected oak bourbon cast to showcase the summit of Irish whiskey. This special release is complex and intriguing. Elegant aromas of fruit, ginger, give away a creamy oak and spice mm. with a complexity that balances its considerable strength. This is going to be different. Yeah, so guys, there's a website on the back of this. If you want to go check it out, go to www.theiririshmanwhiskey.com. Again, that's www.theiririshmanwhiskey.com. You can go check them out there, and I'm pretty sure you can buy other whiskeys that they have made. With that being said and that being done, this is Cody's mother's bottle. So Cody is going to be the one I'm going to let open this one. I don't even know how to open these. And he can pour the drinks as well. Um, I fight these every single time we open a bottle. So <laughs> this one is really well made. I don't know if you can tell, but it, it just it opens really easy. Actually, it does. It just kind of like goes with it. Yeah, it's, I think it was uh, perforated just a little bit there. Okay, so it's kind of like your uh, wax tops. It has the pull slip where it rings around the top of the bottle. Yeah, and guys, cork. it is corked. You know what that means? I like the end of the cork. Yeah, you know what that cork means. We got to smell <laughs> that. We got to smell that thing. Hmm. That's interesting. You can definitely get the. I mean, fruit. the color of this is. Uh, it's not as dark as I was expecting it to be. It almost oh. looks. It almost looks red in our light. But it's more of like a cherry look on that. Mm -hmm. You can definitely smell the fruitness in it. Yeah, oh. it, it. You can. Yeah, smell the bottle. Yeah, you can definitely smell the fruit. Oh yeah, it's more like a uh, maybe like a pomegranate maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty dead on. I'd say more like, if you've ever smelled a pomegranate, it's kind of what I'm getting there. Yeah. All right, you pour the glasses today and see how much, whatever you want to pour. Mama Hush said not to drink it all, so yeah, we're only drinking yeah, some. Yeah, she said that we, I have to bring this bottle back <laughs> yeah, for so. her to at least try, so we're not going to, we're not going to go too crazy. Yeah, this one's not going to stay on the shelf, guys. I apologize. Well, but, once it's empty, it'll probably be back yeah, on the shelf. Once Mama Hus ends it, I do want the box and the casing, and it's pretty small and awesome. Um... Now that it's in the glass, you can kind of see it a little better. Oh, and there's a seal on the top. Oh. Triple distilled the Irish way. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, that seal is like the one that's uh, right here. Yeah. So, I guess that's their seal of recognition it is the three bottles meshed together to make it look like a crown. Well, that's a really fancy whiskey company, considering I've never actually heard of them. Yeah. Oh, there it is. All right. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's got a different smell. Oh, gosh. It changed out of the bottle. I still get the pomegranate. Like, ever since I you do. said that, I get pomegranate. But there's something else there that gives your nose hairs like a little tingle. It has a nice sweet smell to it. It does. That spice smell is what you, like, I think. I'm not favorite. sure if it's spice or if it's literally sweetness. So. No, cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. That is interesting. That is, uh, there's so much. Oh, yeah. There's so much there. Slight burn, nothing, yeah. nothing crazy. But the flavor just explodes. You got, you got a woody taste. You got that oaky flavor. You got the barrel flavor. You got the spices that they were talking about. You got that mm -hmm. fruitiness of the like the pomegranate, the cherry. That's definitely there's definitely a hint of cherry in there. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, but what I like about their whiskeys compared to American whiskeys is the extract of vanilla. Well, yeah, yeah. That. A lot of American whiskeys say, use like, cherry. Uh, in Irish whiskey just doesn't have the 
to me, it's always seemed like it doesn't have the oaky taste mm -hmm. like you would get from a, like a from a from a double aged Jim Beam or a, or a like a a good Jack Daniels or it something like that. Feels like it's made out of a it's, special casting. Yeah, it's it's definitely barreled with something extra. I can't put my finger on it. Me neither. And even though I'm looking back at the label, guys, maybe it's that ginger. <clears throat> you might be right. Maybe it's that ginger that we're getting there that's that little bit of like, difference. If you've ever eaten... Because it says creamy oak. Yeah, if you've ever ate ginger at like a Chinese Japanese restaurant, mm -hmm. that, that's I get a little bit of that taste. Not that I'm necessarily a fan of ginger, but yeah. I'm, a, I'm a fan of this whiskey. Yeah, I mean, it's... I wonder if we're also getting... Like, everything's so much together. you got the fruit, the ginger, the creamy yeah. oak. It's just a lot that hits you all at once, and we're we're trying to put it in the best perspective, period. Like, what we can get. But I mean, it says it says aromas of, of fruit and ginger. I didn't get ginger on the aroma. I got ginger on the taste, but pomegranate on the smell. Let's see. It if I had to put a smell on it, that would be what I put. Creamy oak and spice with... Complexity that balances. I wonder if it means creamy oak as like a white. It is. It is like a really, oak it, It's um the little bit of burn is is no big it's deal. It's normal. So the you really can taste it, and it's um the burn's about the same. As I you would, would from a I would actually describe it as creamy. I hate that I'm just describing what it says on the label, but it's the the label is pretty dead on actually, which is kind of unusual. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of like. I go on to an Irish whiskey that most people have had before. But it doesn't smell so sweet. Like it has the I almost get an apple smell, like a yeah, like almost like the smell of a Granny Smith apple. Hmm. So what I was going to is like the Jameson bottles. The burn that you would get from one of those is about equal to the burn you get from this. Which I would is, say Jameson might, probably burns just a little bit more. Which is weird because we don't have one here for comparison. Uh, do we? Yeah, I got a oh, bottle yeah, there. Right. Um, with the. 54% alcohol rating. That means it's over the 100 proof mark. That puts it at probably 108, 110. Right? So with that being your number, it makes it harder for you to get rid of that burn that's going to make your throat kind of like... Eh. And I hate that this $34 bottle of Jameson is what we're comparing it to, yeah. but it's one of the only Irish whiskeys that I've really got a lot of experience with. Um, and I can shoot, you can see the color difference. I mean, it's, uh, so also while we're, before we compare these two, um, how much did Mama Huss pay for this? I don't know an exact number. I just know it's, what do you, what is a roundabout number you think? Uh, just over a hundred bucks. So this was over a hundred bucks. I'd probably say less than one fifty, but anywhere between. That's I think like a hundred, hundred and twenty shipped. I mean, she ordered it. So. Okay, so an ordered bottle, it was well, it was a little over a hundred dollars for this this bottle here. Jameson straight is thirty. Which you can, which you can also pick up at a liquor store yeah. or an ABC or wherever you happen to be. This is a special. That order. you cannot. I, I special it order or, or regular order. Um, you pay for what you get. I know, guys. I've always told you guys to buy cheap because cheaper is sometimes better. But when it comes to an Irish whiskey, I can say... Well, it's, it's not necessarily just an Irish whiskey. When well, it comes we to, have two that will compare. Yeah, when, so. when it comes to higher dollar things, I mean, sometimes you're taking the risk of... It'd you buy something enough. expensive and don't like it. I mean, we've done the same thing. Mm -hmm. We've bought bottles over $100 and been like, well, yeah, it's all right. I mean, I can appreciate it, but it's not as good as I want it to be for the price. Because uh, I was overseas two years ago, his birthday came up, and I bought you a bottle of that Crown XO, I believe, was it? Mm, XR. XR. It was $135, the, uh, $140. Yeah. Everybody around here that has ABC stores, it's wow. the one in the glass case in the yeah. corner. It's in the glass case in the corner. That's the bottle I bought. He wanted it. He wanted to try it. And then we bought it, and it was pretty much $140 that we probably shouldn't have spent because it wasn't an enjoyable bottle of uh, Crown. He didn't like the flavor. He didn't like the taste. So I always get a different taste every time. Mm. Oh, well. I really, really get the ginger, and that's what's throwing me off. Is I've never, I've never drank a whiskey that tasted like ginger, mm. like actual ginger that you would get, like on a at a Japanese or Chinese restaurant where you can sit down and eat like a plate of sushi <clears> and have wasabi and ginger. It tastes like ginger. So and it's normally not something I like, but it, I almost like it. I also get a thing. 
where when you kind of like uh, if you guys have ever been to Tennessee, you get to try with different whiskeys and stuff. If you drink it and then you so like, like like just 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 for you smell that. I mean, it's like whoa. That that it doesn't even yeah. Doesn't compare. It's, no, it's such a different smell. Um, well, I'm try a sip of this. If you inhale as you drink in the, through your nose, because you get to breathe it as you're drinking through your nose, and then <laughs> yeah. Take a, exhale while you after you swallow. The combination of the flavors that you get. Take a, crazy. Take a small swig of that, and you can't even. The complexity is not even there now. Oh, it's really not. Yeah, it's not. You, like, you don't even appreciate yeah. it anymore. It's like drinking water. Yeah, but it's like, <laughs> I felt like I just drank a cup of water. It was. Yeah, like you don't that, get that near the, the flavor is not even there because I mean <laughs> this just explodes whenever you drink it. Yeah, this hit, this hits you and it's like a, a huge, it's huge, um, amount of flavor. I'm and sorry then, that I'm drinking so much beer, but I gotta like cleanse my palate a little bit. And then when you come to the Jameson, the, the standard Jameson Irish whiskey that everybody's used to, you don't really get the full potential of an Irish whiskey. Apparently you don't, which is, again, like I said, I, I, I feel like this is 100% from Ireland, and I feel like this, I don't know, actually, because I've not done my research on Jameson. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, might it, be says, an import. it does say product of Ireland. Might be an import, but maybe not an export. But to be a mass-produced whiskey, Jameson is still really good. But this is oh, that comes off on a whole other world. Hmm. Uh, Even the burp's good. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's really good. I, now, given it's definitely not something I would ever take a shot of, or yeah, anything like that. It's very easy to sip. On. It is very easy to sip. But also, guys, we don't waste, so we're gonna finish this little glass. Well, this is almost—it's almost syrupy compared to Jameson. It is. It's got a thicker flavor. I think it comes with the fruit and the sugars. Mm -hmm. yeah, it gives you that more of that honey texture. Yeah, that. Yeah. It was a good purchase. Oh yeah, definitely. Mom, if you watch this, it was well worth what Fantastic. you paid for. <clears throat> Mama Husky, amazing. Thank you for. Well, we all know she appreciates your whiskey. Not um, only allowing us to try a whiskey that you paid a lot of money for, but trusting this guy here not to finish it before he brings it home. <laughs> uh, very great whiskey, and again, thank you so much. And again, guys, my friends are better than your friends. <laughs> Tell me, I am telling you. Um, but we'll finish our drinks here almost, and uh, I just want to sip it. I don't even want to. Like, I don't want to throw it back. I just want. I just want to sip it because it's good. Yeah, it's, it's just so, it's one of those drinks that you can drink. If, if anybody out there has the money to spare and wants to try this, I highly suggest you try it. Um, I'm, I, I really don't even know if you can still get your hands on it because of they only made, what, what was it? This one was 20, 20, 20, 29, 25, 95. They made 2,595 bottles of this. I don't know if you can still get your hands on it. Um, the only thing I can tell you is to look up their website, which Justin told you in the beginning mm -hmm. of the video. It is www.theirishman.com. Whiskey.com. And like I say, you can see if you can uh, so if you can get a bottle of it. I, like I said, if you have the money to spare and you appreciate a really good whiskey, I would highly suggest trying it. It's um, one of the best over $100 bottles I think I've ever drank. And I, I know my way so, around a whiskey bottle. So. For an over $100 bottle of whiskey, me, it kind of makes me sound like an alcoholic, but I don't want to say I'm a professional drinker. But I can drink. I, I can hold my own. I can hold my whiskeys, my liquors, my vodka. I can hold it in my beer. But honestly, guys, from just this glass, I'm feeling something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the, definitely the, glasses, something. The, the glasses throw me off as to whether I'm catching a buzz or not. Sure. I'm definitely, I'm not like, but I'm definitely feeling something in there. That'll be later on Facebook. Everybody go check him out. Yeah. We're going to be doing live. Sub for shot. Shot for sub. But I'm definitely feeling that um, that first stage of oh yeah I'm drinking type. Well, it's yeah. a very high proof. Mm -hmm. Again, I mean it's what do we say over a hundred proof. Yeah, and we drank a double. Fifty four percent. That's yeah. It's uh, well, I definitely wanted my fair share of it. I mean it's uh, it's over a hundred dollar whiskey. <laughs> yeah. But um, I got a little bit left in mine. Yeah, I got, I got enough to left I got enough to throw back. So cheers, cheers guys.
It's so good. I want to leak the glass. <laughs> I want to be a It's really good. good. I got a little burn on that one from, from, too, from taking that much. Jamie, but, told you. But, but it's, uh, just, it's, it's a hard one to explain, but... There's so much there. If you appreciate whiskey, something look you into. have at that. You, you, you should definitely look up them and see. They may have more whiskeys. I don't know. It's just a company that I just today learned about. So. Yeah. Also, because I'm going to be drinking on my Facebook channel all night, and Cody's not. Cody gets to finish this one. All right. So Cody gets to finish that one because we. Drink I feel like it's almost water. I mean, drinking Jameson after that, <laughs> it, you don't even you don't you really. I, you I, really I don't. love I love Jameson. I, I've always been a, a lover of Jameson. It's probably my top two, maybe three of whiskeys, and this tops this by yeah miles by. Honestly, I want to say this tops Woodford. Yeah, for. For certain purposes. Woodford would be better, like we've been talking about making mixed drinks. Woodford is a better mixer. Mm -hmm. This, I don't feel like it would mix with really anything. much of anything. <clears throat> but again, I say that because it's so smooth to drink on its own. I'd hate to mix it with anything and ruin the taste. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame you there. But, <clears throat> well, I'll finish yeah, this, uh, finish it. this mouthful of Jameson. This video was a little longer, guys, and I apologize, but I liked the in-depth that we went in on this bottle and that we brought out another bottle for you guys to compare with. Thank you, guys. And if you like seeing my bushy face, I'll try to be on here more. Bushy face. <laughs> hey, we're the Beard Brothers. Yeah, there That's you go. That's what it is, the Beard Brothers. And, guys, if you want to keep up, keep watching, hit that like button, smash that subs. We're trying to hit 100 subscribers. We're going to be, we're going to be giving away... Something we haven't decided on if it's gonna we be. We might models. be giving away something fancy after this video. Yeah, we might. We don't. We're not entirely sure. So we're both working good. We're getting good money. So hey, we might go a little bit more on this one. So hey, let's get to 100 subscribers. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Let you know every time my sexy self go live or the Bearded Brothers go live. You <laughs> never know what's gonna happen. And if you just so happen to watch this video before the next like hour, he's going live. I should be there. And. We'll be here doing shot for shot for every new subscriber. Yep. See what's going to happen. Guys, we love you to death. Hey, thank you again, Mama Huss, yes. for the bottle. Thank you, Mom, for the bottle. It was so worth what you paid well for. Well worth the it bottle. It was so worth it. You have to try it. So yeah. I'll, I'll be bringing it home to you tomorrow. Remember, I buy it so you guys don't have to. I try it so you guys don't have to. Cody buys I it try so to. I don't have to. <laughs> I'm just here and for fun. Here comes Mama Huss for the bottle out of the ballpark. Guys, y'all have a wonderful night, and I cannot wait to see you guys and the rest of the family tomorrow. Bye, guys.